Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Let's go down to the paddock and listen to Pastor Brian. Down to the paddock, gonna have a good old time. Where we're learning from the Bible, gonna make us wise. Let's go down to the paddock, come on girls and guys. In its context, John 20, 28 is a strong proof that Jesus is God. Remember Thomas. Thomas had doubted the reports that he heard from his friends that Jesus had risen from the dead, that they had seen him with their own eyes. And he said that he would not believe unless he could see the nail prints in his hands or he could put his hand in Jesus' side where the spear went in. Listen to John 20, verses 24 through 25. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails, and place my finger into the mark of the nails, and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. And then we read in verses 26 and 27. Eight days later, his disciples were inside again, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. And in response to this, Thomas proclaims in verse 28, My Lord and my God. Now, Thomas is here declaring that Jesus is God. And Jesus and John, the gospel writer, both encourage everyone that comes after them to imitate Thomas in what they believe about Jesus. Now listen to what Jesus says in verse 29. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. And for John the disciple, as far as he is concerned, this is the dramatic high point of the gospel. He immediately tells us in verses 30 and 31 now, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing, you may have life in his name. In other words, the entire gospel was written to persuade people to imitate Thomas in his confession of who Jesus is, who sincerely called Jesus my Lord and my God. Jesus speaks of those who will not see him and yet will believe. The disciple Peter, in writing to Christians in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 8 and 9, he says, Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Do you believe? Whether it's for the one millionth time or for the very first time, would you make that confession about Jesus, my Lord and my God? Listen to Romans 10. Verses 9 and 10. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. May the Lord be with you today.